Hello, Justina. Thank Hello. You. Thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Uh, if you'd just like to introduce yourself and maybe tell us a bit about what you do and what your company does. Okay, great. Um, I'm with a company called um, BioXL Corporation. We are a company based in the uh, US, headquartered in the US, but our operation is in India. We call it the hybrid model, which brings down the cost. And we are basically an analytics powerhouse uh, catering to the biopharma and uh, any kind of questions they have, we answer them and we provide decision support for them. So for example, at the bio business, there's a lot of companies that are looking for partners. So we would come in and do the partner profiling for them. Right, so you sort of sit in the middle between the biotech companies and the pharma companies. Exactly. And so what are you finding at the moment are the, are the, the key things that people are looking for? Good deals, of course. Good matching deals. But what makes a good deal? Because uh, is it just the finance or is there, there more to it than that? There's of course more to it than that. Uh, small biotech companies uh, mostly uh, consist out of scientists, so they do not have a business side. They do, know, they do not know how to pitch to a big farmer, so we help them put meat on a business case. We tell them what a big farmer expects and also we tell them which farmer is interested in their field because this is also very important so they know you know where do we have a chance of a big market share so what are you finding then are the biggest of those kinds of challenges that people are coming up against at the moment let's say on the biotech side it's the risk right because um, most of the products are very early so you know, there's always a risk, will the product continue or will it fail? And of course, they do not know how much is it worth? How much can I get for my product? So this is a big challenge for them to find out, you know, how will this whole sheet of terms work? So how are you finding, um, we've been hearing a lot about uh, early and late stage deals and how is this affecting um, the decisions that you come out with and, uh, uh, and the decisions that they then go on to make in the individual companies. Right, well um, I think first of all what we do is we save a lot of time and cost to the companies because they do not have to allocate their own strength to start digging deep, researching, making KOL interviews, etc. We take it away from them and guide them in the process. And are you finding, as we've been hearing about regulation issues, uh, are you finding that's having an impact on what you're able to offer uh, uh, and what you're, so what, what you're able to suggest and, and put out to people as decisions? Well, of course, we always take this into, a res uh, into respect. What are the regulations issues and tell them and guide them. And uh, there are a lot of restrictions and uh, sometimes uh, you might have a product that uh, a company is already a big pharma is leading in that area and they will not be interested in taking your product. So this is also what we advise them on. There's a certain factor of accessibility. So we advise them on, you know, is this big pharma interested in your product or not? And of course regulations, if they want to, for example, go into a new market, like emerging markets, what are the rules and regulations there? So we can guide them through any kind of process. And what are, for those big pharma companies, what are the major concerns that they've had lately when looking for who the next big biotech company is? What are they asking? What are they looking to find out? Well, they're basically looking to find out on any innovations any new, um, uh, basically innovative drugs. What, what, what are the trends? How do I shape my, up my R&D department? My clinical trials, do I need to change anything in that? What are the big trends? What are the future trends that are going on? What technologies will be followed? So we basically try to analyze those trends and then suggest them. So for this year, what would you say are the top three tips that you would give to someone looking to get invested from a biotech company? If you could take top three facts, what would they be? For a small biotech company yeah. that's like looking to out-license their yeah. product, the top three things. 
Well, I would first uh, look into what is the market share of the buying company in that field, in that indication. That's one big thing to look for. Second of all is the sales force, is the market accessibility. The bigger the sales force, it can mean the more market share will come out of it because they'll penetrate the market. And of course the market accessibility also regional. Uh, is, this, uh, is the potential partner regional present in all the markets that I want to penetrate? Well, thank you very much. I'm sure they will find that very useful information. And uh, I hope you have a successful time at Bio Business. Thank you very much. Take care.